Hey guys, if you want to dominate in Madden 18, head on over to Madden247.com where you can pick up the full access guide to Madden 18 and any ebooks. This is the best content that you're going to find anywhere and it's more than half off other websites. And if you want to support me directly, head on over to Patreon.com where not only are you going to be getting the best content, but you're also going to be entered into giveaways. So if you're interested, head on over to the links in the description below. What's up guys, we are back with a second part to the Saints scheme. In this play, we're going to be going over the sail. And what this is going to do is complement the Saints mesh wheel. Now the only real adjustment you want to do is streak the tight end and then drag the slot receiver on the left. So now we're actually flipping the drag uh, route because we, last time the drag was coming from the right, now the drag is coming from the left. Uh, so we can quickly hit a drag underneath or we can hit a high point pass to the tight end if they get a little greedy and try and uh, undercut the drag with their user or if they're playing underneath coverage. Those want to be your first two reads is drag and then high point to the tight end and then your next read wants to be either the in route or dig route from the right side of the field or the post. Uh, so normally my reads go drag, high point, post, dig because the posts are really good this year and they can get open against any coverage. Uh, and then of course you can hit that running backs route out of the backfield, especially against man to man. Uh, it's very, very effective. And if they're in zones and say you don't want to drag the triangle receiver, if you want to put them on a streak or something, uh, if they do not play that running back right off the back, you can actually hike and throw it to them and get a quick, easy two to three yard uh, every single play. Uh, but you see here, the dig route and the post route are going to kill man and zone. And if they're usering, uh, they can only pick one or the other side, uh, or they have to cover the drag. So this is really good because we can hit them with the drag or the post and the dig uh, over the top with the drag coming underneath. So the user can't be covering both receivers on the outside, plus the drag coming across the middle. So this is very stressful on the user, and it forces him to pick his poison. And we're just going to go opposite of the user. So this is a very effective scheme, especially mixed in with the Saints mesh wheel. It makes for a great combo uh, complement to each other using these two passing plays mainly out of this formation. Here you see that we're going to see no one on the running back right away and we could just hike throw it and you see we easily get 10 yards right there. So you're guaranteed almost two, three, four yards every single play. You see there we get four yards. So that's a gr great thing to do if they are not respecting uh, the running back and we can hike throw it to him so i hope y'all enjoy this video on the part two of the scheme using the sail play to complement the saints mesh, mesh wheel if you did please be sure to leave a like comment share and subscribe to the youtube channel for more great free content and if you want the best content you're going to find anywhere online head on over to madden247.com where you can get the full access guide or just become an offense or defensive member and if you'd like to support me for only five dollars a month you get the same exact content at patreon.com